Hey everyone, and welcome back for another episode of Brandcoin Mining. And today we're going to be taking an in-depth look at all of the most common problems you can run into uh, either while setting up your mining rig for the first time or after it's been running for years and years and suddenly it stops working. So if you haven't already subscribed to the Brandcoin channel, please consider doing so. And without any further ado, guys, let's jump right into that intro. Follow white rabbit. I'm taking potions, call me Alice. Watch me grow taller. Yeah, rabbit's watches in his pocket. Yeah, he stays late. So the easy way to actually repair any mining rig or computer or whatever um, is actually the easiest and it's the simple process of elimination. And I just sort of always been fixing computers using this process and it's worked very well. I still haven't uh, run into a mining rig or a computer. I haven't been able to um, at least figure out what the defective part is and uh, either replace or repair. Uh, it's never happened to me yet, so uh, this process does definitely work. The first thing I actually do is uh, start up the mining rig and just do a visual overall of the whole thing and look at everything and see if I see anything is off. And we'll start pointing out and uh, looking at things that I look at and trying to sort of get inside my head. So now we're just taking a look at a test mining rig in my uh, little home office here. And um, basically, uh, there is nothing presently wrong with this mining rig whatsoever. We're just gonna be taking a look at how everything is running. So when I'm looking at everything, look at all the fans, see if they're spinning. That's probably typically number one. Uh, fans spinning down here and here, that's all very good. And I also look at the wiring. I look at the specifically the power supply wiring going into the graphics cards. And I wanna look and see that I can see all the correct colors. like. If something's broken, this yellow wire could turn black, let's say, or brown or discolored. So I'm always looking for uh, colors and just looking to see also all the wires and cables are plugged in firmly. And uh, if you can't see anything wrong, then you're gonna have to progress on through all the different components. So if you can't see anything physically wrong with the uh, mining rig itself, uh, you have to start going through, as we were saying, and changing out different parts. So it, you, my, in my technique, you always have to have a backup uh, mining rig system. Uh, I like to call them test benches and so does uh, many other people. And um, you need ideally to have one mining rig that's working. Uh, and like you have to assume also that, I mean, anything's possible, it is possible, but if you have two power supplies, both of them are not gonna be bad. Um, or if you have a third, hopefully then at least that one will be bad. And that brings us to the next uh, thing that usually goes wrong is the power supplies. And this is also one of the things I immediately go to. Uh, I've had so many bad power supplies and not only bad power supplies, but bad extension wires and power supply extenders and all kinds of stuff like that. So here, as we can see, is our power supply, and I've had wires and splitters, and these guys go bad like crazy, and I've even had wires like this burn that come out of your power supply, and I've had wires like this that plug into our GPU burn, and basically every type of wire uh, that can possibly burn, and I've even had the fan in these guys break. And if the fan breaks, uh, most often your power supply is toast, uh, it's uh, for the garbage, or, uh, I mean, some of them also, if the fan doesn't work, it completely disables the power. So maybe if you can replace the fan, uh, the power supply will start back up. But that's only certain companies that do that. Most of them just burn, uh, burn out and uh, will need replacement. The next part that we often uh, run into that is defective, although less so, is the motherboards themselves. And this is the, basically this entire uh, square here. This is the motherboard, of course. And I've seen actually quite a few faulty motherboards completely broken or they can burn out 
somehow. I've seen that occur as well. Or I've seen even multiple or single uh, GPU uh, PCIe ports break. So um, you could have all of them working and then one of them suddenly stops working. Uh, I've seen uh, different USB ports here break. I've seen uh, the network uh, connector controller break. I've seen uh, just individual pins break off. Uh, that's usually uh, my fault. Um, although, I mean, it could have been shipped that way to begin with, with something broken off. If one of these resistors, or I think they're called resistors, breaks off, that's typically the end of your motherboard as well. So they're very delicate pieces here. Another item that could be um, basically not defective, but problematic with your motherboard is some motherboards just don't like certain hard drives or certain types of hard drives. For example, uh, some need uh, don't like SSD and will only take uh, different types of hard drives. And uh, there's di various different incompatibilities with motherboards and some of them just won't work for mining. Uh, or if limited, even though they have more ports, they, they just will not work due to software incompatibilities. So, I mean, so many different issues you could run in. Sometimes your uh, BIOS of your motherboard is incorrect and you'll have to basically load a new BIOS on from the manufacturer and maybe that could repair the problem or uh, that may not always be the case as well. So it helps definitely so you just have an extra motherboard on hand so that you can uh, swap it out or uh, bring your graphics card over to the other motherboard and figure out what the problem is. So I would say that the absolutely most common part that breaks or dies is these risers. And it's not only the risers themselves that break, it's the corresponding USB cables, could be the power cable we use, could be these little chips that actually plug into the motherboard or the riser itself and this actually goes along um, and it's sort of like these power supplies these, these die the most absolute most and most are garbage some never even work to begin with um, there are I find there are some some that are slightly better than others like the newest ones uh, like this one is a uh, 009s gold plated with LED lights so I mean you have some newer ones that are a little bit better but I would say uh, these are generally disastrous but there's uh, no other efficient way uh, to uh, mine unless you're using riserless motherboards uh, and I mean that is just a different price so I mean this is the cheapest but can cause you uh, some heartache in the end with all the work that goes into it next part we're going to be talking about I've also had quite a few problems with and that is these SSDs and uh, it's not only with the hard drives themselves being completely defective uh, I've seen them basically uh, also die out and it's not only this company in fact I, I think this is actually one of the higher quality hard drives uh, I like to use and this is Silicon Power that's the company that makes this and you can find this on Amazon pretty cheaply and uh, so we have the hard drives die and we also have the operating systems uh, go corrupt. So I like to use Windows operating system because uh, it is free sort of. So uh, uh, versus let's say something like Hive or Simple Miner that charge a monthly fee in crypto. So I mean, I, I like to go opt for the free route and that's the route I've always been going with. So I don't want to disturb uh, this process um, and really just reprogram every single mining rig I have. Uh, that's another consideration uh, why I use Windows, but then I have uh, Windows becoming corrupt, but I have also seen uh, Hive become corrupt. So it's not only Windows that can actually get messed up. And another uh, thing that can go wrong with the hard drives, I also consider this a problem in a way with the hard drive, although it's really the drivers on the hard drive for your graphics cards. That's a very, very common thing that you should, guys should look through uh, and just try and uh, remove using DDU. And I'll put a um, link in the description for DDU, which is Display Driver Uninstaller, if you guys wanna use that. And that's the best way to wipe your hard drive clean uh, of the uh, possibly older corrupt driver you're using or it's not always older just sometimes drivers can become corrupt on sometimes for basically no reason so um, you'll be able to take off your existing driver for either your AMD or NVIDIA cards 
and just put it back and see if that fixes the problem before uh, reinstalling Windows or using another SSD. Uh, that's something I like to look for. So other parts that can break, although they are uh, really extremely rare, are the CPU, which is underneath this fan. And uh, that actually hasn't happened to me yet. But of course, I've seen incompatible CPUs that they'll fit the socket of the motherboard. But you always have to check the uh, manual of your motherboard to see what CPU is compatible. So it's more likely that your CPU is not compatible with your motherboard than the uh, CPU itself being broken. Although it is 100% possible that your CPU is broken, especially if any of the pins are bent, basically that's uh, broken. Another point of incompatibility we could have is the RAM. And there's a one RAM stick, I believe that's a four gigabyte stick. And again, I haven't seen any broken RAM, but I've definitely seen a lot of incompatible RAM. So I'll always make sure uh, which RAM you're using and try a different stick if uh, you think that stick is not working. So another item that can severely mess you up is the graphics cards themselves. And even if only one of the graphics cards uh, has suddenly become defective, uh, this could be crashing the entire mining rig. So uh, what I like to do is actually, if you're stumped still at this point, disconnect everything, all the graphics cards, everything aside from your hard drive, RAM, uh, CPU, and power supply, of course, and just keep a bare bones system and see if you can get your system to power on and uh, stay up like this and then slowly reconnect one graphics card at a time. And uh, let's say after you've connected the first graphics card back, uh, run the system mining normally for, I would say about four to six hours to test and see uh, if the system crashes. And then you can identify uh, which graphics card or riser, or then you can even narrow it down to maybe a specific wire or part of the riser it, that is broken. Uh, or, I mean, it could be the graphics card itself um, that is completely defective as well. Now we're going to actually repair a mining rig uh, altogether. And we're going to run through exactly uh, what I'm going to do and what I'm going to look at uh, for this rig. Uh, now, to give you a little background information about this computer is a test mining rig of mine. And it's been running, I think, for a tiny bit under, under a year with no issues whatsoever and uh, let's go take a look at it. So this is the mining rig we'll be talking about today and uh, it was basically just a test mining rig I had going with a few graphics cards and uh, I come into the mine, little mining area I have in my garage here and uh, it was off. And I basically reset it a couple times and I think I know what the issue is. We'll have to go and see if I'm correct here. Now I'll show you what it is. When I go and power on this power supply, which is the power supply that is powering the, the basically the motherboard, the server part of the computer. And uh, you can see the EVGA power supply I have in the back there powering the graphics cards is spinning well. And that looks like it's part of the problem here. So I'll just show you, I'll go and power on the system. And I have this monitor here connected. I press power over here and power supply and graphics cards seem to be starting up so they're spinning and then they die over and over and over again and i've just unplugged my radeon 7 until i fix this problem i just don't want to have any issues with it and uh yeah this seems to be a repeated process and even if i shut everything off uh both power supplies here and I can even unplug them and I did every type of reset possible. It just will re is doing the same thing here. And um, I believe the problem is related to this power supply because this is the one that's like going on off. And I'll just bring you through my thought process right away. I, I come to this, this power supply. That would be the first part that is powering and you can physically even see the fan going on and off so hopefully I'm correct and that is the issue. It could be a whole range of other issues. Could be something to do with the hard drive and the operating system. Uh, could be, but is probably not likely, but could be something related to the CPU uh, if it's overheating, but I don't think it's that's the case. Uh, especially since the whole thing powers on and off right away. I don't see anything on the screen, screen stays blank. 
I'm just thinking and hoping uh, that this is the issue. So I guess first step will be uh, unplug this power supply. I'll go get a new one and we'll plug it all in here and see if we come back on and hopefully this fixes our problem. So uh, I actually have brand new still in the uh, plastic here. Uh, brand new, the same exact power supply as usually when I, when I buy power supplies or motherboards or some parts. Uh, I buy a bunch of them at the same time and I usually get a really good deal uh, if I'm if I'm buying one or more so might as well stock up a bit um, so we'll see I'm sure if it is this uh, power supply uh, Corsair will replace it because I have I definitely have not had this for two years so I believe that's the warranty on them or if it's a year I mean uh, sometimes these companies are pretty nice we'll have to wait and see what happens with it but uh, anyway let's get this uh, power supply unboxed and we'll get it into our mining rig and see if that fixes the issue so now we have just unboxed our uh, brand new power supply and we're gonna get this one uh, changed out here okay so we're back again and we've installed our uh, brand new power supply here uh, we need to do some cable management as you can see and we got our old power supply which I believe is defective sitting right here next to the box we're gonna try and return that uh, and get a free new power supply and so we'll try this out and see if my fix worked so we're gonna hit this power supply turn this guy on that's good fan spinning we're gonna hit the power switch here on this power supply and then we're gonna go grab our uh, power button and we're gonna hit the power on Ooh, and those are good signs oh I've reconnected the Radeon 7 as well and ooh, that's very good and I'm happy we've got windows loading up and I believe we have fixed the problem so we'll just go and see um, if we can start mining now so we've now loaded up Windows, got our MSI Afterburner uh, running, and we're gonna go and see if we can start mining. So we're gonna get Team Red Miner here, and start our Ethereum Miner, and let's cross our fingers that everything's gonna work. Hopefully we have not damaged the Radeon 7 and all of this stuff. Um, okay, that's very good let's see oh yeah we've got our three GPUs that just loaded and I would like to see it start actually mining that would just uh, make my day here um, so okay looks like all the DAGs are loading properly that's a very very good sign and I just want to see it really load up uh, before we call it fixed because uh, usually if um, while the mining program oh that's very good uh, these are the initial hash rates uh, before um, basically all the uh, miners all the graphics cards are get tuned up and let's just see here what we get should be coming very shortly Oh, GPU zero tuning complete, that's good. Oh yeah, we have hit uh, 50 mega hash on the RX 5700, 39 on the 5600, and 90 mega hash on the Radeon 7, so that is awesome. So that was a pretty easy uh, standard repair. Uh, everything went very smoothly, um, but it's not always the case. And if you guys ever run into something, uh, feel free to leave a comment uh, in this video or any of my videos down below with your question about how to repair such said mining rig or whatever component. Uh, and I'll try to answer back. Then thanks for watching Brandcoin today, everyone. And we'll see you all soon in the next episode.